What's going on guys? Today I'm going to walk you through how you can make $1,000 a month as a full-time video editor. And I'm coming at you from the perspective of someone who is not a video editor, but from someone who runs a video content creation company. We create video advertisements, YouTube videos, video sales letters, full-blown video funnels for our clients. So we're constantly creating video content. I'm always hiring video editors. I'm always speaking with video editors. And therefore, I believe I'm coming from a position of authority when it comes to showing you how you can make a thousand dollars a month as a full-time video editor. So, if that's something that you want to do, no matter where you're from—the Philippines, Africa, Eastern Europe, America, Latin America, Australia—I don't care. If you're looking to make more money and you want to do it from home as a video editor, then keep watching this video because I'm going to reveal the exact steps on how you can do that. So, here's why you don't earn the type of money that you deserve. First. Your skills are undervalued because you're offering a generic service. Your employer, your clients, your customers, they're asking you to do work that pretty much any editor can do. Next, there's an overwhelming amount of competition. The reason for that is because most editors are generalists. They don't specialize in anything specific. And most editors find their clients through the same mediums. That's Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer website. So if their competition is overwhelming, that means that your prices are going to be lower, which I'll get into in a second. Now, because you're a generalist and the competition is overwhelming, it means that you have unreliable clients. Let me tell you a secret. Most business owners only hire video editors for odd jobs, the odd video that needs to be edited. That's what they're hiring you for. What you want to do is find an employer or a client who needs you for the long term. Now that's easier said than done, but if you keep watching, I'm going to explain how you can do that. But if you have unreliable clients, it means sometimes you take on new clients. It means sometimes you lose clients, which means that your money goes up and down, which means you lack security. So you have inconsistent income. If your income is inconsistent, you can't grow your business. You can't take on more clients. You can't break out of the rat race that you're trying to break out of. You can't be free. So you have to solve all of these problems. If clients undervalue your skills, if there's an overwhelming amount of competition, if they are unreliable and only want you for short-term jobs, then you're competing on price. So typically, the more you charge, the less likely you are of getting a client. So you're competing for a race to the bottom. And one of the main reasons why you charge less money is because you have outdated knowledge. Most video editors do not continue to level up as time goes on. I've hired video editors who have not improved their skills after six months of working with me. This is bad and it's a problem across lots of different industries because most people have been taught that once they finish school and university that they don't need to keep educating themselves, which is a total lie. In any industry that you're in, you have to keep educating yourself. So if you're a video editor and you want to get paid more money, you have to learn to improve your skills. And finally, there's unlimited exposure to gigs. So most video editors will only get their clients through Facebook groups, through Upwork, and through Fiverr. Most video editors do not create social media presence in order to reach the type of clientele that will pay them a premium price. So we need to be able to solve all of these problems right here. And the way to do that is by specializing and networking. It is the secret to breaking out of the entire cycle. Because businesses are hiring you for short-term general stuff, they're not hiring you for specialized editing and they're going to let you go because they don't need you long term. They've got inconsistent video needs and they don't value your skills. So in order to get a long term client or a long term employer, you have to specialize in something that they need over a long period of time. That means that you're going to be making yourself irresistible to them. If you can demonstrate to an employer or a client how your videos can help them achieve a result, you're more likely to get a far higher price for your work. So how do you actually specialize and how do you level up? One of the best ways to do that is via networking. So not just networking with business owners and potential clients or potential employers, but also networking with other creative people and other video editors especially. This way you can get into a feedback cycle with other editors who can critique your work and so that you can improve over time. They can offer you tips, tricks, strategies, hacks, you name it in order for you to get better. So it's about leveling up your skills as well as networking so that you can get those job referrals or those opportunities. It's not just about the skills that you have now, it's about the skill set that you're going to have in the next 12 months. When someone hires you, they are hiring you as an investment because they want you to get better over time. At least that's my perspective when I hire video editors. You need to be able to make the right connections with the right people in order to continuously improve and you need that feedback from other editors who are a level above you. That's how you break the cycle 
and secure a job that will pay you a thousand dollars a month or more. It's really that simple. But knowing what to do is just the first step. The real question is, how do you actually do it? So that's why I've made this video today, so that I can give you the exact steps you need to follow in order to set yourself apart as a video editor and start charging premium prices. Step one is to level up your skills and build a real portfolio. You would not believe how many video editors I have spoken to over the last 12 months who claim to be a very good video editor but do not have a very good portfolio. It's very generic or it's on a Google Drive that is messy and unorganized. As a business owner, I don't want to waste my time going through a Google Drive trying to find the type of video that we create for our clients in our business. Instead, you should have a very well-organized portfolio that clearly demonstrates the type of videos you make. That means putting those videos in the right folder and naming them correctly. Just doing this is gonna separate you from most video editors, hands down. But the main thing you wanna do with your portfolio is show off what you're really good at and what you love doing most. So create videos for fun to build your portfolio if you don't have clients or customers. Typically what I've seen in the past is that most video editors put the work that they've done for clients in their portfolio, but they didn't actually enjoy doing that type of work. You should be aiming to work for someone where you can create videos that you love making every day because that's what you're gonna be doing every day, making videos. So you may as well create the type of video that you actually like. So create those type of videos and put them into your portfolio. Now, if you're serious about leveling up your skills, then you should consider joining a professional network. I've put a link in the description below this video where you can join the video CEOs in a circle and learn from some of the best video editors in the world. Step two is to market yourself effectively. Most video editors do not have a very good social media presence or any social media presence whatsoever. Therefore, if you want to separate yourself from everyone else, you create social media profiles that demonstrate your work. You can have a YouTube channel where you put your videos. You can have an Instagram page where you put your videos, your images. It could be anything just start creating some kind of presence online. With that social media channel, you can then start reaching out to decision makers in companies via LinkedIn, via Instagram, via Facebook. You can even start commenting on people's YouTube videos. Do not underestimate the power of social media. You should start building your personal brand now. You're already really far behind everyone else. So if you haven't started, you need to start today because I promise you, if you don't, it's gonna be harder and harder to find the jobs that you're looking for. It's gonna be harder and harder to get paid money online. There's gonna be more competition. Start now, I promise. There's only one way forward from here if you start and that is up. Step three is to pick a niche and specialize. Now you want to specialize in things that are in demand, but you also want to specialize in something that you're passionate about. However, you don't just want to do one or the other because if you only specialize in things you're passionate about, you're probably not going to find anyone that wants to pay you for that work. Whereas if you only specialize in something that's in demand, you might not actually enjoy doing it because you have to sit down every day and do the work. So you want to try and find something that combines the two together. There's heaps of different types of content that you can specialize in. From my perspective, running video CEOs, I recommend specializing in faceless video content and AI so you can learn how all the different AI tools can be put together to create good videos. Get good at automating the process of creating videos. So again, AI voice cloning instead of using a voice actor, knowing how thumbnails work, creating templates, speeding up the actual process of creating videos. This is gonna separate you from other editors who might take two weeks to make the same video you make in about three days. Business owners and employers want quality as well as speed. Marketing psychology and knowing the algorithms is also very important and will separate you from pretty much every video editor out there. Most of the ones I speak to don't really understand how the YouTube algorithm works. They don't really understand how short form video content works. If you can demonstrate to an employer or a client that you understand how these algorithms work, you're already positioning yourself as a premium video editor. Step four is networking and outreach. So with your social media brand, with your profile, with your personal brand, you can start reaching decision makers that might be interested in the services you deliver. Because you wanna get away from Upwork, you wanna get away from generic industry groups, you wanna get away from Fiverr. You are not gonna find the best clients there. Yes, there are some people who go to those platforms and pay a lot of money to video editors, but you probably aren't one of them. So start creating your social media brand now so that you can reach far more people and potentially people that might not be on Upwork or Fiverr looking for a job right now. You wanna be front of mind when they realize that they need a video editor. Again, you can consider joining specialized groups like the community I mentioned earlier. 
Again, the link is in the description below if you want to join the video CEOs community. And don't be afraid to reach out directly to business owners and decision makers offering your services. If you have a good portfolio and you have an understanding of how you can help that business with your video content, then it's a no brainer for you to reach out to that decision maker and explain how you can help them. Don't just pitch your service, build a relationship and then offer advice on how your video content can help them improve their business. So knowing what to do is essential, but it's only the beginning. The real key lies in how you actually execute these steps. So joining professional networks like the video CEOs community is going to help you learn from some of the best editors in the world. It's going to help you connect with other entrepreneurs and business owners who are looking to use video content to get more sales, to improve their business. You could be one of those people that can help them out. So knowing what to do is essential, but it's only the beginning. The real key lies in how you execute these steps. I've already mentioned joining the video CEOs community where you can learn from some of the best video editors in the world and where you can network with other business owners or entrepreneurs who already understand the value of video content. Whether you join the video CEOs group or not is totally up to you. Either way, if you follow this guide step by step, you're going to separate yourself from every other video editor out there and you're going to be able to demand a premium price for your services. I guarantee it. So before I wrap up this video, please do me a favor and let me know in the comments below what you found most valuable about this video. If you found it valuable, like it, subscribe to the channel and send it to a friend who you think can benefit from the information I've just shared here. But most importantly, follow the steps and get to work. Don't prove to me that this is possible. Actually follow the steps so that you can prove to yourself that it is possible to make $1,000 or more as a video editor. Because I promise if you follow the steps, and you level up your skills, and you network with the right people, there's absolutely no way you can lose.